Hello, collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay. Whatever your enemies have stolen from you, everything your enemies have stolen from you, off of your energy, without your permission, it has all been taken from them and returned to you. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. I don't know if you all saw this stack, this, uh, Stag here just kind of jumped out and flew on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and put them out here as we get them. Lord have mercy. Okay. Okay. Let's see what our oracle card is. It, said, it says past traumas. Seek support and allow yourself time. <laughs> Excuse me. Past traumas. Seek support and allow yourself time to process. Healing is in linear. So that's for someone out there. You could be part of a karmic group going through some type of awakening. Not the group, but you, you particularly, are going through some type of awakening, some type of rebirth, okay? And the people you are around, they're uh, focused on keeping some type of toxic situation. To, uh, they want to keep it going, and you don't want to be a part of it anymore. You're going through some type of awakening. Uh, you've been part of this group for a long time. It's not looking good for this group, okay? Absolutely not looking good for this group. Everything they have gained, garnered off of other people's energy, they are losing every bit of it. Every single person in this group, this COVID, this community is headed for poverty. This family is in disarray. They are arguing um, with one another. They're not receiving some type of abundance. If they established a business in someone's name, it's going to be dismantled. There's something here where you all got together and forged someone's signature on a paper, on a document, excuse me, and you thought it would never be found out. You all are being investigated. I feel like I've been picking on the picking up on the same group time and time again in my reading. You all committed some type of forgery. Okay. You committed some type of forgery and it's coming back to bite you in the behind. You all have done this before to other people. This is the first time you're getting cut. The reason you're getting cut is because of the energy you did it after. You thought you were going to have wish fulfillment. This is absolutely an enterprise, a business that did this, and you're living in fear because you are busted. Whatever you invested in is invested in is not going to come into fruition for you. It's not going to be successful. You're losing everything. I've been seeing the emperor with the heart and the four of swords. Okay? Someone is passing away from a heart disease. Someone's father is passing away. Okay? Going back home. Someone's father is passing away. Rude awakening. Okay? Because this is someone greedy or this is karma for someone because of what you all did to another energy. And you never thought you would get. I'm telling you, this is karma. This is justice for what you all did to someone. You forged someone's signature on some type of legal document and you're out here pretending like nothing happened. You had a whole meeting about this, got together and came to a conclusion that you never speak about it. If it comes up, you pretend like you don't know it. Now there, <laughs> you all have legal uh, issues ahead of you, legalities. You won't be able to escape from this. You're headed for poverty. The truth is out. Okay, The truth is out. You all are exposed. Exposed. You all have done this to people before where maybe they, they, they didn't know what was going on. They weren't quite awakened. Yeah, you've done this before. You're a karmic group, karmic couple. You've done this before. This is how you all operate from behind the scenes. This is how you all manifest new beginnings for yourself, new opportunities through witchcraft. You're a dark coven. You use magic to get what you want out of other people. You harvest people's energies, but you've effed around and harvested the wrong energy. As you can see, you all started something. You're fighting about it. It's upside down from here. All of you going through an ending, trapped in some type of situation, all the deceits, the lies, the toxicity, everything is exposed. There's no hiding it. Okay. You thought you were going to get some type of abundance out of this. If you did for a while, not anymore. It's all being taken away from you. Everything you stole from a, a, 
an earth angel is being returned to them. It is being returned to them because you didn't have any permission to use their energy. So it's being returned to, oh my Lord, it's being returned to them. All of you have problems going on. People are fighting with you. Okay, your incomes, your resources are out of balance. Everything is being taken away from you. Everything is being stripped away from you. And there's someone in here passing away. I'm telling you, there is someone passing away. Someone's father is passing away. He has some type of heart problem. I don't know if they think someone, a member of the collective can heal them. He cannot heal them. He, she cannot heal them. Okay? Whoever is sick, it's just time for them to go back home. It is time. Yeah, this is their final, final destination. They're stuck. They are stuck. This is their final destination. This is karma for somebody, either him or a child of his that participated in this mess. Okay? So, yeah, you are stole from someone. Forgery. I'm getting forgery. You are uh, forged someone's signature on something, some legal documents. Okay? And you were warned not to do this. Yeah. It has to do with an investment. Either someone invested in something and you tried to steal from them, or you all did something where, I don't know, you started a business or went and did something and you forced someone's signature on there, or something was left to a member of the collective and you went and forced your signature so you could have it you're not getting that and if you do it's going to be your worst nightmare ever because every bit of that is cursed as long as you all have it cursed this is your future just know that this is your future that is your future after this you all will learn to never Never, ever do this again to another person. As a matter of fact, you won't have the chance to do it again to another person because you will be dismantled. You all will be dismantled. Your stability, your incomes. If anyone in here owns a business, that business is done. Everything is falling apart. You are going to have to start from ground zero up so you can know what it feels like. Everybody you've done this to from the past, because you guys have done this to a lot of people, and you got away with it, and you met an earth angel, and you said, oh, we can do it again. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You cannot do it again, and you cannot come in to pay someone off. You cannot come in to pay someone off. This is just going to prove that you did something. I think this is what you all want to do. Come on and bribe someone to keep quiet, to let it go. No, <laughs> the court is aware. The court is aware of what you all did. This is your future. You all martyr yourself participating in this nonsense. You got comfortable. You said, we've done this a hundred times before. We can do it again. Uh, no, you can't. You can't do it again. You all said, and we'll do it again. Bop, bop, bop. And Spirit said, and not again. Bop, bop, bop. And burden, worry, illusions. Cause a lot of illusions. Smearing someone's character, ruining people's lives. We're not even going to speak about the one specific earth angel you did it to. We're going to talk about everybody that you did it to. You all have done this to a lot of men and women, destroyed their lives, their futures. And you, you, you went in and blocked communications and everything so they wouldn't find out about what you were doing behind the scenes. It's out now. I'm telling you, you can do something a hundred times, a thousand times. All you got to do is F up with that one earth angel. All you got to do is F up, F around and find out. There's, I'm telling you and find out. There's source, there are certain beings source does not play about. So I'm telling you, everything you all have been doing is, has been being uh, watched. You are under surveillance. Everything, someone has been studying a signature something you are turned in, some type of forgery, some type of fraudulent document you send in, it's been being studied. It's a whole lot of organizations involved in this and you all have been bribing them. It started at one organization and because you had a lie, a cover up to keep going, you went and connected with other organizations, connected with someone's family members, blah, 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 dot, 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 dot. Let's make sure we have, we, we, we uh, mark all the dots, connect all the dots. She works here. He works here. Let's make sure they're on board. They used to work here. They used to go to school here. They used to live here. This is their landlord. This used to be their best friend. 
let's make sure we connect all the dots so all of these people can tell the same stories that this person is incompetent they don't know what they're talking about when they come in and say that this is not their signature and everyone can say this is your signature darling don't you remember you've been signing your name like this for uh, uh 50 years 20 years 30 years yeah that could be their signature but you forced it you had someone sign some type of paper and then you took their signature off of there and transferred it to another document that's forgery so that it can look legit you thought no one will find out about this sally oh that was cute that was cute again you guys stole something you committed some type of fraud and you thought you were going to sneak your way out of it no 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 sally and then you have a moron in here that thinks he's going to come in and give some type of love offer. And then it's just going to help blow everything over. He said, hey, I now know that you are my soul twin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I would like also, you know, try things again. I know I kind of rejected you in the past. He said, you didn't reject me. I never wanted you. I was never, in I was never interested in you. But uh, I'm going to need you to kind of get away from me. This person is not even going to be allowed in your energy. They're not even going to be allowed because you know the truth. If, some, if someone is in some type of desperate situation and they are desperate to connect with you because they believe if they connect with you, you're going to advocate for them in court when all of this blows over. And that's a no, 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 no. Collective is not advocating for you. Collective wants their money back. Collective wants their business back. Wherever you created in Collective's name, it's going to be sorted out. You must do time. I'm telling you, the judgment has been made. A decision has been made. Someone may want your forgiveness in here, but there's an ulterior motive for why they want your forgiveness. So they can sneak you again. You know, pour their sword out. I need to find my, my uh, sword so I can pull that out every time I say them suck up. So they can pull this sword out and slice you again. Mm-hmm. So they can drain your energy some more because these are people that are into rituals. They do it faithfully. They've been doing this for decades, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60. They've been doing this for decades. And they have to run with the wrong earth angel. And the court, someone in the court said, this don't look right. Something is fishy here. Will slide you $20,000 if you let it go. Oh, uh, they found they didn't they don't know there's someone behind the scene that cannot be bought. You may have been able to bribe someone in the court system, but there's someone else you can buy. Money cannot buy everybody. So the karma, yeah, someone stopped them in their track. The karma is you are losing the things that matter to you, your parents, your children, your dogs, your cat, your fancy things, your luxurious lifestyle, your comfort. You're losing it all. You're gonna be in poverty poverty okay you are going to be in poverty ain't nothing i'm telling you ain't nothing good coming out of this so whatever you committed yourself to make sure you are just as committed when you are facing your karma and dealing with your karma there's somebody's daddy in here that's passing away that's your karma or oh, there's an emperor that's passing away that's your karma there's someone who he's passing away and he's talking about Stephanie was the worst employee we ever had. You know why Stephanie was the worst employee they ever had, Collective? Because Stephanie was abundant and they tried to steal from Stephanie's energy. They went and manifested off of Stephanie's energy and Stephanie's ancestors said, uh-uh, Stephanie, we need you to wake up and make a judgment in this situation. We need you to make a judgment. And Stephanie said, oh, so you all have been stealing from me? Oh, you go bye-bye. You go bye-bye. And everything you got off of my energy, I'm calling it back. That's why. That's why he's saying Stephanie is the worst employee they ever had. These are people that do this to their employees, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. They do this to their employees. Yeah, they trap their employees into a horrendous situation. That's why some of these employees are stuck in institutions they cannot get out of. They're used to getting away with this. They trap you, manifest off of you, and then behind the scenes, they're celebrating that. Yes, yes. Uh-uh, this time, it didn't go according to plan. Yeah, it, it was an, an illusion. They were under an illusion the whole time, collective. They were celebrating, saying, yes, we did it. 
another one down we took a powerful earth angel down we manifested off of their energy and so said oh no 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 darling not this time not this time we've allowed you to do this to what 300 other people <laughs> not this time not this time the scores are being settled so because they did it to everybody else and then you you are the feather that broke the camel's back so i said oh you don't f5 you don't forgot you are going to do time for this you must do time must do time you must do time you stole from one of mine oh you stole from a spiritual judge oh yeah definitely called judgment on that situation she said oh i'm gonna speak up i'm gonna need what's mine's back i didn't get permission for y'all to take from me if it was johnny johnny said i didn't give no permission for y'all to take nothing from me i'm gonna need that back every bit of it everything 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 johnny everything johnny they had three kids don't you care about the kids johnny said i don't care about no kids they didn't care about me when they were doing this to me. Mm -mm. Yeah, Johnny is being practical. Okay? Johnny is being practical. Stephanie is being practical. Stephanie said, I want my money back. It's my money and I need it now. It's my money and I need it now. Stephanie don't made a judgment in this situation. And these morons, they didn't even know judgment had been made. And they were still there celebrating. Oh, they were hopeful, honey. Hopeful. And then they had the audacity to come up with a plan to come towards you and make you some type of grimy offer. Send a masculine in to send you to give you some type of superficial offer. Talking about they now know that you are their scheme. I'm telling you, these people are burdened. They're overwhelmed. They are burdened. There will be no success. Just like you all have been blocking someone's success, you're blocking your pathway too. You will have no pleasures, okay? There are, there are situations like these where the most high, they will let you get the money, get the car, get the house that belongs to someone else or offer someone's energy. And they'll let you get real comfortable in there and say, you like that? Yeah, it looks like you like that. You like that? And then the moron is there like, yes, I like that. This is real nice. We need to do this more often and sources that oh really yeah yeah really that's their master yeah i like that this is wonderful mm, okay and then source turns around before you know it oh shoot my dad is passing away oh shoot i lost my job oh shoot i'm about to be homeless yeah that's what you all didn't see source let you get comfortable in that little energy of yours it's like yes i can breathe again we did it we stole from them we took from them we manifested off of this earth angel and source was looking like oh look look look, look, look time source was looking at the watch the time the clock is ticking tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock hmm <laughs> And Source knew the whole time what was coming, and that Earth Angel knew the whole time what was coming. Some of you were warned not to put, not to participate in this mess. He said, "Leave that behind. You put an end to this toxic karmic cycle that you are in. Let it go." And you all said, "Who the heck does she think he, she is?" Oh, here comes someone with the gaslighting, with the false offer, not knowing that you already know what they did. And you know the situation that they're in, and there is no way out of it. Step, mm -mm, you stay over there. We're not desperate for love over here. Listen, we're not desperate for love over here. Source pours enough of that into us, and it's enough for us to flourish. If Source decides that we're going to get a higher level soulmate or a partner at all, Source will let us know. But you will keep your slimy offer over there. We know you don't want to go to jail. We know. We know you don't want to go to jail, so you want to come and speak to us. Can I talk to you for a second? What you want to talk about, Billy? Um, there's there's some things that's been going on that I don't think you know about. You may not be privy to, um, but I really need to talk to you and ask you for your forgiveness because, man, it's real. Uh, that's okay. You don't have to ask for my forgiveness. I don't really care. 
Source is taking care of it. You can take your apology and stick it up where the sun doesn't shine. Okay, Billy? Okay, now. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Yeah, because we already know. We're going to get the information from the right source. More than likely the court system. Some type of legal official. So whatever you're trying to do, come in here and, you know, butter us up. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is not going to work. That's not going to work. We're not turkey. You don't need to butter us up. We're not turkey being prepared for a Thanksgiving dinner. We are okay. Okay? Oh, dang. Okay? Okay. Someone was going to come towards you. They're being stopped in their track. They feel overwhelmed. I don't know if this is someone you are familiar with or whoever this is. Someone was, oh, honey, someone was battling you. They were battling you for the longest time. Now he feels burdened. He's overwhelmed. He's exhausted. He's tired. He's tired. He's lost his motivation. He said, I thought you said this person was weak. I thought you said this was the weakest link. Oh, no, 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 no. Someone is just compassionate. They're an earth angel. That's what they are told to be, but they're very intuitive. So they see you before you even move. Before you bust a move, they yeah, before you bust a move, they already know and they have the authority to make judgment in your life. You you serve a specific master behind the scenes, uh-huh. He didn't tell you, she didn't tell you, it did not tell you how this operation really goes. The earth angel, if you did not know, the earth angel always had the authority in the situation to make judgment. And the judgment is always executed by the universe. Okay? So I don't know what your proxies told you, what these clowns told you, but this the, the earth angel always has the authority, the power. Okay? Because this is the energy that they used to manifest. Whatever they're manifesting is always in alignment with the universe's desires. So that earth angel can make any judgment in your life. I'm telling you, anything can hit any target or can make any judgment and it's gonna always hit the target right where it needs to in your burden. You thought you, you thought you had someone fool, King of Cups. You thought you had someone fool. I'm telling you, earth angels can manifest whatever they want. Your ending, your mama's ending, your wife's ending. Because what? That's what you were manifesting for them, right? So they can manifest that for you. The only problem is you don't have the gifts of manifestation activated in you. The earth angel does. So you're kind of just saying words. They're not really meaning nothing. But the earth angel with the ability to manifest in your life, their life, his life, her life, everybody's life. Oh, you really, I'm telling you, and they hit the target every time. They're the ones responsible for bringing balance into situation, calling judgment. You see here, all of these beings up here, right? They take, they take orders from this one right here. This is the one with the authority. So, they make a, she makes a judgment, he makes a judgment, and they follow along and say, we will make a record of this today. The earth angel has deemed that the proper consequences of stealing their energy and manifesting off of their energy, manifesting off of their energy is, the consequences is death. Oh, the consequences is poverty for person number two. Oh, the consequences is illness, incurable illness for person number three. Oh my gosh. And then you sit there while you're enjoying, I'm telling you poverty. You sit there while you're enjoying that person's money that you stole, not realizing this is what's up ahead of you. You know how the people of Sodom and Gomorrah were all partying and things like that and they didn't know what was coming? What did Lot do? I think Lot tried to warn them and they didn't listen, kind of like Noah tried to warn the people about the flaw that was coming, according to bib bib biblical stories. Uh huh. You know, you some of you are Christians in here, at least you say. I don't know how Christians are participating in things like this, but, you know, who am I to judge? Anyways, you know how 
everything was, you know, they were just living life, drinking, partying, you know, laying with each other, all kinds of mess, just being a hot mess dot com dot net dot org. Maybe dot gov. They were just going on about their life. And they were being warned. The flood is coming. The flood is coming. And what did they do? They blew Noah off. They said, yeah, yeah, yeah. A crazy old man. Don't know what he's talking about. It. If he was in this time frame, this time period, they would have probably put him in a crazy house. They said, this man is crazy. He don't know what he's talking about. He's talking about the flood is coming. And what did Noah do? Noah, Noah let them go on about their life. And he went where? Went and built himself the boat that God told him to build. And what happened? What had happened, Carmix? What had happened? You know the rest of the story. You all go to church on Sundays, right? You know the story. You know the story. I don't got to tell you the whole story. You know the story. Mm -hmm. Justice is what happened. Balance is what happened. They were scrambling at the last meeting. Can't do nothing to save themselves. And they were all goners when the storm was over, when the floor was over. Yeah, they were all goners. It was the end. It was the end. Listen, my ancestors are funny as hell. Why would this car come out at the end of that story and I say what happened? And it, it was the end for the people. Mm -hmm. It was the end. Now, the only thing I don't understand, I doubt that Noah was a black man because there ain't no way I'm going to be on a boat with two chickens. And they still hop their little behind. Oh, no. Two chickens? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Two chickens. And they just walked off the boat and went about their way alive. And then I'm African. The two goats? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ain't no two goats walk walking off of no boats. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you two going? <laughs> that would be me. Hey, chicken. Come back here. Come back here. The floor, the floor is not over for you yet. But this journey, this journey. Hey, goats, come back here. We need to talk for a second. Nay, yeah, nay, nay, nay. All you want, come on back. I need to talk to you. It's all love. It's all love. Next thing you know, I got some fried chicken, roasted goats, quarry goats, all kinds of goats. They came back. They didn't know what they were coming for. I showed them love. And they came in and up trap. <laughs> no one saw them again. <laughs> Ooh. Where's that head chicken? Where are you going? Come back here. It's not time here for you to get up. Let's let everybody else get up. You and goats, you two stay together. I got to keep my eye on you. You two are very important to this new beginning. Very, very important. I don't want anything to happen to you all. I don't want you to get stamping or something or stumbled on while all of these other animals, these crazy creatures are going out the door. So you just stay right here with me, okay? The four of you, just stay right here. I'll be right back. Lock those suckers up in a, in a little cage. Put them back in their cage. Okay. <laughs> and then you make sure all the other animals get off the bones. You lying? Rawr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go raw out there. <laughs> the giraffe with his neck. <laughs> Go on out there. <laughs> and then as soon as they as soon as they leave, wish fulfillment. Fried chicken. Rusty goats. Cory. Oh my gosh. Anyways, you're all burden behind the scenes. And why are you burdening? You brought this trouble on yourself. This is something where a group of people, day in and day out, they're watching you go on about your life. And they smile with you every day, knowing very well they're destroying your life. But they smile with you. This King of Cups here, there's something religious about him. Someone's very charismatic as well. They know how to draw people in, manipulate people. This is someone that plays with people's emotions. Yeah, and this is your future, sir. Every one of you, you have legal issues coming up. Someone may even be going through a divorce. You are being looked into and studied. The truth is exposed. You may want to apologize to someone, but you're going to have to take that apology and stick it where the sun doesn't shine. This is your future. 
You thought you and your wife was going to be a-okay? Oh, that's cute. From stealing from someone, blocking someone else's future? Mm-hmm. By blocking someone else's. You thought you were going to prosper from that. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. You are definitely a religious character for you falling from grace. Yeah, you falling from grace. I, I know what I be seeing in my cards. I, I, I be knowing. You are surrounded by a couple of crazy cards, and that's how I know. And this card keeps coming out. Uh, this is you, sir, because of what you did. You participated in something, and now you think you can come and say, I'm so sorry, I have a confession. Uh -huh, sir, sir, you're going to have to take that up with the most high. Take that. Yeah, someone wants to meet with you to apologize, honey. You don't need an apology for any of these people because they didn't care what they were doing, and none of these people care at all. The only reason they're apologizing to you is because they've been busted. But they were, when they were taking actions against you, they didn't care. They said, was, yeah, they didn't care, but now they're burdened because they know you're actually sincere and genuine, and you know what they've been doing. Someone manipulated these people, but you can't blame anyone for your actions. You can't go to God. Let's say you pass away, which someone in here is about to. <sighs> Let's say you go to the spirit realm, and it's time to meet with the council, which everybody has to meet with the council. I, I feel like those suckers be sitting up there and just having entertainment with us. Like we're on some type of stage. When they're like, look at this one. She takes this stuff so serious. Look at that one. He takes his stuff so serious. This is just a performance. This is a movie. Like you're in a show. Get over yourself. Anyways, and they're just a watching and watching, and bloop, you go back home. You th and they ask you, what did you learn from this this lifetime you just left? Why did you do this? You think you can fix your mouth and tell them, oh, Billy told me to do it. Who the heck is Billy? You're on a solo journey on this planet. Nobody cares what Billy told you to do. They're going to tell you, but why didn't you follow your own intuition? Why didn't you listen to what you were being guided to do? You were told not to participate, and you still participated. You can't tell us Billy told you to do that. This man is burning behind the scenes because he knows what's up ahead of him. He knows, yeah, and it's coming in fast. He, I'm telling you, this man, this is what's up ahead of him. And it's coming quick, 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 quick. Someone is passing away. Someone is passing away. There's an emperor that's going to be passing away, okay? Because he's now burdened. Yeah, he wants to come in and give to you. This man participated in something that he should not have participated in. Maybe he wants to now give to you, share some type of information with you. Yeah, tell you the truth. Honey, I will tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lot. He wants to tell you the truth now about what he and his catty friends did. How they forced your signature. How they stole from you. How they were bullying you. How they were doing this and doing that like you don't already know. You're an earth angel. Do you know? Yes, collective, you know. Do you care? No, because the source is already taking care of them. Karma is here. My aunt is here to collect. If I see this freaking five of pentacles one more time, this is you all's future. And you have no one to blame. You all have been sitting there living that la vida loca. You thought you got away with something. That's how we humans, we are so naive and dumbfounded. We would do something and because we get some type of pleasure out of it for what? A couple of hours, a week, a month or something. Or we get some money out of it. The money don't even last. And we'll be out here celebrating, knowing very well we just screwed someone over. What the heck do you think is going to happen? The universe is big on principle. The universe is big on balance, morals. What the heck do you think is going to happen? I'll let you all figure it out, Karmix. It's not really hard. I'm telling you, I'll let you figure it out. It's not very hard. It's very easy. Simple math. You do the crime, you do the time. Okay? And this is some of your time, and this is some of your time from ground zero up. Someone is going to be in prison writing you a letter collective, trying to get a hold of you. If I can just speak to her, she'll be able to free me out. Nah, ain't nobody coming to free you. Collective is busy living her good life, healing the world, working with her soul team, soul tribe. She ain't coming to free you. 
Because when Collective was in a bind, did you come to Free Collective? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to talk about that? Oh, someone told you, don't help her. Don't help her. Don't help him. Don't help him. So you did what? You pulled back. You said, I'm not going to help. And not helping became some type of entertainment. They said, let's see how they're going to get out of this. We've taken everything. We've blocked their income. We've blocked their resources. We've blocked their money. And they can't get a hold of this money that was left for them. Let's see how they're going to get out of this. Let's see how this is going to affect them. Isn't that what you all were doing behind the scenes? Trying to see how far you can go with something. Oh, well, now it's our turn. Tag, you're in. Tag, you're in. Oh, tag, you are in for a lot of illusions and manipulations and Oh, my Lord, and a lot of deceits and stuff like that. Oh, the rituals, the rituals, the rituals are not working. You must stop these God dang rituals. Judgment has been made. I think some of you are going through some type of awakening. There's a masculine in here going through some type of awakening. But you still have karma to serve, though. Oh, I said it. Oh, sir. You still have karma to serve well, because of what you participated in. Oh, bless your soul. I'm so glad you're going through an awakening, but you have to go through this dark night of the soul. Source is tapping that behind first to say, I know, I know you're going through an awakening. That's real cute. We are proud of you for finally, finally opening your eyes and taking that bold step forward. But you do owe this person some depth. Okay, so you're going to have to pay that debt too. Anyway, if someone wants to talk to you, give you some truth. Say truth or dare. Do you know what has been happening behind your back? Collective is like, uh, yeah, true. I already know the truth. What's, what's next? What, what do you want? Truth or dare. I dare you to forgive me. Like, sir, we're not worried about you. We already know what's coming for you. So we don't lose any sleep over you. You're going to have to figure out how to forgive yourself. But we're not worried about you. Okay. Okay, now. Someone wants forgiveness. He said, please forgive me. I know now what I do. So you know exactly what you did. You know. They know. You already know. Yes, you did. You always knew. With this three of wands coming out, you always knew. You all knew from the jump what you were getting into. Again, you've done this before. This ain't that something. I ain't never did this before. No, yeah, you've done it before. You've done this before. And I ain't never done this before. No, I ain't never done this before. Yeah, you did. You've done this before. You knew what you was getting into. Somebody really want forgiveness. Yeah, you've done this before. Someone wants to come in. Baby, this love over he's coming in with is an illusion. But I believe you know that because this person's energy is shaky, shaky. And you know that. That's why you got your sore pool out. He's, I wish you would come around me. So I'm going to hurt your feelings. Don't come around me. It's a king of wands in here that thinks he's the bee's knees. He's about to come in and give you the truth. And then you two are going to sail on the common water and start working together or something. Baby, sir, you, 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 you guys to have several seats. He betrayed you and he's going through some type of betrayal. So now he wants to come in and give you an offer. It's that, oh, you want to tell me after all this that you did with your family against me. Now you want to come tell me the truth and make me an offer. Is that what you're telling me, Billy? Billy. Uh-huh. Billy. So you want to tell me you and your family got together and stole from me, forged my signature. This is collective, by the way. Now you want me and you to do what after this? Like, this was me, Billy. This is how you all wanted me, Billy. And weren't nobody around to pick me up, Billy, but myself through the grace of God, Billy. Now you want me to trust you again after what? You tried to dismantle my family friend? Is that what you're telling me? Billy, you're going to have to keep that true to yourself. Billy said, I just want to have a new beginning with you. Now that I know that you are my twin flame. Uh, Billy, we're not looking for twin flames out here. 
We're looking for higher level soulmates with genuine con uh, intentions for us. Yeah, you and Billy have some type of past life connection. Billy is now aware of it, Collective, and Billy would like you to reconsider your decision to reject him. Mind you, Billy rejected you first. And now that Billy is awakened, he wants you to reconsider. Reconsider him. And you're like, no, Billy. I think about it, but I already know the answer. But I think about it, and I'm not really thinking about it, thinking about it, Billy, because I already know the answer. Because, Billy, I always knew what you were doing. So I don't really need to think about it. But to keep this conversation short, I think about it and get back to you. You don't even have my number. That's okay. I'll get back to you. How are you going to get back to me? That's okay, Billy. I'll get back to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm telling you, Billy don't have no pure intentions for you. Billy want to communicate with you so you can let him back into your energy voluntarily because a lot of these folks they're so disgusting energy wise they, they're not allowed around you so you have to give them permission for them to be around you and the moment you give billy permission to be around you this is billy billy has not changed billy still has ulterior motive billy is still greedy billy still wants to have things that he has not worked for i.e your energy your abundance your blessings uh-huh as I said, collective, we are taking back everything the enemy gained off of our energy without our permission. We did not give you permission to take our blessings. It, they are all being stripped, taken away from you all. Every last drop of it, every bit. Any type of spiritual cores that they have to us, they are all removed prominently. There is someone in here that masturbates to someone's picture or video. Sir! Sir, how dare you? It's over. No more masturbation. To I even said the word. No more na 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 to our pictures and stuff because they do that to maintain some type of connection to you. You're not you're, you're not thinking about this person, but there is someone that sits at their computer and just ugh. I don't ah. Next topic. Yeah, this is what they're doing. Oh, mm -mm. someone is extremely attracted to you. They can't help themselves, and then they know your abundance as well naturally. So this is why they do this kind of stuff, man. Yeah, they're nothing but a common thief, hurting their feelings. Apparently, saying that, uh, uh, and they know you know what they are, what they've been doing. I'm telling you, someone is going through a lot of laws everybody in here they've never gone through this karma before they have never gone through this karma before never someone is sick in here someone is passing away uh look at look at look at look she came out again last three readings she's been coming out because she's going through the ringer she was the head of the let's cause a uh, illusion game let's call an illusion karmic soul tribe can we even call it that a soul tribe karmic soul tribe okay well let's go with that that was the head of the tribe that was the head of the tribe she was the one that was telling him we're gonna have a lot of abundance from this this is gonna work out this is gonna work out this is the best earth angel we've ever found this one we can keep generating from them and generating from them and generating from them while we're blocking all opportunities from them. That's not how it works, darling. That's not how it works. Now you have some type of ending coming for you. You can't even uh, 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 comprehend. You cannot comprehend. Someone's health is about to be like down the drain. In this group. Everything you took has been taken away from you. You are losing everything. And I know you're desperate to hold on to it, but it's not yours. It never was yours. So everyone, that's possibly why you're wealthy. Everyone you stole from, all the other people before the earth's angel you just did this to, all of their blessings are being taken away from you. Every last bit. You cannot keep any of it. None of it. 
and that judgment is final darling it is final you must return everything and then some because we're charging you for collateral damages interest we're charging you for those okay interest interest collateral damages there are people that take pride in their malicious work their malicious deeds they take pride in it okay they take pride someone rejected someone just because they thought oh they don't they don't they're not worthy of being in our family they'll they'll uh what is it you know those people that have their nose far up their rear end those kinds she's gonna dirty our family name the family name is already in the dust this earth angel was supposed to be the one to get it out of the dust like you people are like at the bottom of the barrel kind of into the bottom of the barrel kind of activities to get money you gotta lie and steal and forge signatures and you're here talking about protecting the family name really really sally oh my lord you got to do time sally you're losing everything 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 and if you still have a little bit of cha-ching left you may want to stop doing what you're doing now because it's only going to get worse for you anyways 666 well now you know that's your master's number how coincidental that we start with that is your master going through an ending oh okay your master's empire is falling he's burning okay okay a wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the tra uh, change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency i am center okay collective Oof. hallelujah hallelujah okay you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker assisting all of humanity live your truths and be a positive light to others okay i am powerful that you are 27 your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life you value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people whether in your community country or the world at large I am expressive. Right, uh, rising flames. This is like the phoenix rising from the ashes, which a lot of you are collective members of the genuine soul trap, not the karmics that come here to watch for 30 seconds and then hop off because they don't want the channel to grow and stuff like that. Anything we don't know. Oh, baby, this channel is going to go where it's supposed to. But that's real cute. Keep doing it. Anyway, rising flames. Let your passion guide you to the fulfilling purpose meant for you. Ignite your soul. Anyways, collective, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in your, well, in my next read. Goodbye for now.